That is the Funko store. And look at the line to get in the store. Line goes all the way up the block. Check that out. I'm going to go there and see what is it that they're releasing today. Wow, look at that. So many people waiting to get in the Funko store right there. Okay, so I just found out that the huge line behind me is for nothing special. It's just a regular weekend at the Funko store. I guess the families come, they have nothing to do and like to come visit the store. And uh, here's the front of the store. They are practicing the safe distancing, everybody wearing masks. And um, I just saw something really cool that I'd like to show it to you next is this uh, pops that you make of yourself. So. Look how interesting this is. You can choose from the different types of faces. Give you a close up. Okay, which one looks like you? Oh, that one over there on top here looks like me. I think I could have you use one of those. And I might come back to make my Funko Pop so you can see when it's not super crowded like that. But these are the male ones. And let's see what they have over here. Over here they have another display and it's also uh, just different faces. So you can choose the, the hairstyle. They pretty much look all the same, but hey. I wonder how you can personalize your own Funko Pop. I'm going to ask somebody from the store to explain to us. All right, hello. So how does this work? So the way that our pop people works is you choose your head and skin tone. Then you will choose your glasses or facial hair. Those are optional, of course. Then you can choose your hair or hat. Then you'll be able to choose your torso, legs, and some accessories. Then you'll choose the name that you would like printed on your box. It comes all together in a box and a pack of stickers. How much does it cost? 25. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, so over here they have three little kiosks and they pretty much have the same things. You start over here, like she explained with, with the heads. They have a very nice assortment of uh, male heads and female heads. And then you get into the body, which is here, they, they have the the torso and the legs very nice so the interesting part is that people get five minutes from the time they get the little piece of paper to select all the parts of their funko pop that they want so time is ticking tick tock tick tock all right if i were to do my funko pop which one do you think looks more like me number 22 or 30. put it on the comments we asked the, the man in the blue shirt in line how long it took for him to get to that place and he said an hour and a half. So would you wait that long to come to the Funko store? I don't know, but I sure would love to make a little Funko pop doll of myself. So that probably will be my next visit. Oh, that's neat. Look how pretty Root is greeting you in front. Okay, this is as close as I'm going to get from this store today. I have to come back on a weekday. They said that it's a lot less crowded during the week. They open from Wednesday to Sunday. So, And this is where you pick up your Funko Pop when it's ready. I'm going to ask somebody to see if it looks like them or not. got their pops. wonder if it looks like them or not. Oh wow, that is really great. Thank you for sharing. I'm starting to feel sorry for all these people in line because the Funko store is going to close in about an hour and I don't think they're gonna make it. Oh no. Oh, look at that. They're starting to take in the make your own Funko Pop. They're already wheeling it in. 
and a heads up if you're interested in making your own Funko Pop I was told that you have to get here when the store opens to get your appointment or else you don't even get an appointment to make one there we go Come to LA and I'll bring you to the Funko shop. Bye bye.